So we're back here at PRI 2016. I'm here with BJ from BMP Performance and their track attack car that they built for SEMA. But the big thing that we want to talk about is the new Gen 2R blower that's on it. Can you give us a few details? Absolutely. So the Gen 2R is just a new iteration of the Gen 2. We had the ability to go back in, redo the case, and do some nice things. Let me show you a couple of things about it. The, um, the air box, which was a, a big difference between Gen 1 and Gen 2, has been increased in height, increased in depth, if you look here, if you actually look at the Gen 2 and then look at the R, you'll actually see this little rib is slightly shorter. We did everything we could do to maximize that air box. If you take a look, we've got another one on the stand that we'll be able to take a look in a couple of minutes, but if you look at the actual inlet here, we've taken everything out that we can possibly take out, canned it a little bit, everything we can do to reduce this radius to feed that inboard rotor even better than what we had before. The Gen 1 versus the Gen 2 on most cars showed about a 35 to 50 horsepower increase with just that sort of inlet, inlet design. This one showed another 30 horsepower on my 2007 GT500. Just more boost, more air, more flow. So basically just by reducing all that restriction going into the rotor pack you found, you know, versus the, your first iteration, like basically 70 horsepower? Yeah, it, well, here's another interesting thing. Now this is the five liter variant, so, but to give you an example, on the GT500 variant, there's an EGR in the back on the corner over here. And so there's a, there's a large space in there where this disc goes. And <clears throat> pardon me, on these, what we did was we took everything, we took a look at what people were doing on, on modifying these blowers, even ours, and porting them. And so we'll, where you'll see, and if I can kind of step past you here for one second, where you normally would see the EGR placed here, or for somebody who's modded one, they'll cut this out, weld it, and bring a piece out to, to make that radius better. We've taken a block, moved it down, moved it out of the way so the EGR is still there for the GT500 variant. And for both of them, this is smooth all the way around. So we, when you look inside there, it's everything that you any customizer would have done and, and more because we've got more ability to make the, lo uh, the block larger and you can take a look on the inside of this thing. It's just one big, huge, smooth curve to feed these two guys symmetrically. Well, it looks like a great piece. Can't wait to actually Stop get in it. In yeah, hood. well, it's always fun. And you don't have any cushioning up there. I to have help no it. cushion yeah. whatsoever. But yeah, I can't wait to actually get behind the wheel of one of these cars with this new blower on it. So are you guys shipping them now? We are, we are. They're, uh, they started shipping about three weeks ago and they're in full force. We've got, in fact, we had so many on back order because people were looking for them. But they're all up to speed, all up to, uh, oh, by the way, if they, let's see, Christmas is coming. <laughs> but uh, no, they're always in stock and we're good. They're, this particular one for the GT500 is $32.99. We're not doing just a head unit right now for the five liter, but we are including it in the stage three. Stage two, stage one, stage two is going to get the uh, the Gen two. The R comes on stage three. That's eighty two ninety nine, but it comes with this blower, ID one thousands, our VMP spec uh, heat exchanger, uh, fuel pump booster, our twin jet sixty seven throttle body. Which by the way, there's a new throttle body too. The twin jet seventy two for larger applications. All of this stuff comes with it, $82.99, either from us, any of our dealers. Uh, gosh, we've got so many of them, we could run down a whole list. But some of the premier dealers, we've got American Muscle, we've got Jags Late Model Restoration. Those are just a few of the really large ones. Uh, TPS Motorsports in California. So some great, great people out there. Kind of thing. Oh, Weir Racing is also one. Jordan Weir, he's one of our uh, one of our new guys. Glad to have him on board. Available through all of those guys and available now. And on the uh the stage three version, I'm guessing that's the kind of horsepower number we'll be looking at? This one we did on race gas, we did 851 at the, uh, at the, at the flywheel, about 770, 775 at the tire on full kill mode, and yes, it will do that. Do we want you to do that on a, on a stock bottom end? Probably not, but if you fortify the bottom end of these things, it's ready to go. This same blower powers our, uh, our 2011 uh, five liter car makes about 900 tire through an automatic. Made uh, 860 plus tire on my 07 GT500. Same blower, a lot of power. And uh, I'm guessing you guys will be racing this on those cars coming up uh, the next season. We will be, we will be. And other great, exciting new things on the horizon as well. And from a blower standpoint and a whole lot more. Well, can't wait to see it. Awesome. Thanks, BJ. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.